things are different now. There's us and the dead. We survived this by pulling together, not apart. here live at the waterfront village with my friend the zombie Jonathan you're looking good Jonathan just got an awesome face paint job what do you think I like turtles all right you're great zombie and good times here at the waterfront village open for the next 11 the living dead has captured the mind of the public in a big way they're creating their own genre of movies games and television they've infected American pop culture so to speak with zombie inspired clothing music and events the idea of zombies originated in Haiti during the American occupation with exaggerated travelers' accounts of what they saw there, capturing the mind of the public and culminating in the creation of the first zombie films. Why did you drive like that, you fool? We might have been killed. Worse than that, Miss Dear. We might have been caught. Caught? By whom? Those men you spoke to? They are not men, Miss Dear. They are dead bodies. Dead? Yes, Mr. Zombies. The living dead. Corpses taken from their graves. Or made to work. In sugar mill. Fields at night. But why are zombies so popular today? During the Cold War and the anti communist McCarthy era, science fiction films depicted an America under the threat from an alien invaders, meaning communists, the threat of the day. All horror movie monsters represent some problem of the day, and zombies represent the, the world's latest problems. Nowadays, the biggest threats in the public eye are the looming shadow of terrorism and the threat of a collapsing economy. But we're fugitives. We should just lay low till we get to Seattle. Hey, everybody, I found one. The government actually found someone we're looking for. Yeah, baby, yeah! The reason for the recent influx of zombie movies is that they depict the collapse of our confusing modern society where the public can't fix its major problems like the threat of terrorism and government surveillance in favor of the post-apocalyptic society where the problems are as simple as kill zombies, find your loved ones, and survive. Okay. Take Pete's car, go around Mum's, go in, deal with Philip, sorry Philip, grab Mum, go to Liz's, Pick her up, bring her back here, have a cup of tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Perfect. So why have zombies been so successful in popular media? They appeal to people's uncertainties about death, and can provide a guilt-free avenue for committing acts of aggression and violence without the potential political fallout from killing human beings. When Left 4 Dead 2 was released in 2009, it could not be sold in Australia due to the fact that, quote, the interactive nature of the game increases the overall impact of the frequent and intense depictions of violence. This suggests that if the game's enemies had been human instead of zombies, it might have been banned worldwide. Not only that, but zombies are also another justification for preppers, or people who are preparing for the end of the world however it comes, whether it is by the collapse of the world's governments or by the zombie apocalypse. Okay, it's day 35. The zombies are coming, but you're ready for them. You're prepared. You've got your armory. In this little container here, there's 200 servings of actually very good restaurant quality food. This section here is kind of cool. This starts out, this is our bug out bag section. Bugging out is just a term used for if you've got to grab your stuff and get out of town, get out of town quick. This is a self-hydrating water pouch that you can throw in a puddle of water. You can throw that in the sewer. You can throw that in the toilet. Now, this is everything you need to survive the zombie apocalypse. This over here is everything you need to have fun while surviving the zombie apocalypse. Actually, stun guns work on zombies um, for about 48 hours after infection while their body tissues are still connected. Um, afterwards, it's just good against humans who are trying to take the food that you were smart enough to put away. Alfredo Carbajal is founder and leader of the Kansas Anti-Zombie Militia. I live about five minutes away from where the proposed facility is. There is a high possibility of having some kind of zombie outbreak with a bio lab that's being moved in here. We formed together to 
be a preparation group. We are a group of individuals with different skills. Some of us ex-military, police officers, people trained in firefighting, paramedics. In conclusion, the undead are used as a prop for the needs of the people. They're used to advance the plot in zombie movies, whether it is to create an insurmountable obstacle for the protagonist. Okay, everyone just stay where they are. I'm gonna check if the coast is clear. Is it clear? No. How many? Lots. To be used as a test of courage. Are to provide a backdrop for the character interaction. Lizzie, how can you put your faith in a man you spectacularly binned for being unreliable? A man whose idea of a romantic night spot and an impenetrable fortress are the same thing. It's, this, is a, this is a pub. We are in a pub. What are we going to do? I'll get around him. Look, let's just keep quiet and wait for Sean. We can barricade the window when he gets back. What then? How long? Days, weeks, months? What? What about food? What are we going to eat? Zombie movies, like any escapist media, are designed so the audience can deal with the problems of the zombie apocalypse rather than their actual problems. Oh,